good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a very, very, very special WWE figure review for you guys. It is the brand new Loyal Subject figures. I have been waiting forever for these. Um, you can see here we have the whole box full of the display, guys. You see how epic these little figures are. I believe these were revealed, uh, I think, I can't remember if it was Toy Fair or if it was WrestleMania Access or was it Comic-Con, I cannot remember, but I remember the first time I saw these, they were posed in the little ring um, at one of those toy shows and they looked incredible. And so, following along with, you know, loyal the, the loyal subjects on Instagram, you can go follow them. Links to their Instagram, their Facebook, and their website are down below. But uh, ever since I saw these, I had to get my hands on a set of these. And they were so kind enough, they, they contacted me and, you know, we hooked it up. And they made this review possible. I want to give a huge shout out to the Loyal Subjects for making this review possible. Sending us this display that will go into stores. This is the way it will be set up in stores. And these look incredible, guys. I mean, they, they have so many cool things. You can see on the side, we have an awesome epic shot of AJ Styles and Sting. On the back, you guys can see all of the different superstars that you can get. Um, we have Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura, a different Shinsuke in black. We have a Macho Man in his USA attire, a referee, a variant Finn Balor that's like in a, uh, you can see there, it's like the black and white demon. We got an Elimination Chamber Finn Balor. They come with like Money in the Bank briefcases. You get the Undertaker, uh, AJ. I think a few of them come with championships. Like, uh, I'm not sure if, you know, there's, there's various. You see Roman there. He has a chair. I don't know if all of them come with accessories or if it's like special variants. Um, you also got Sasha Banks right there, but I'm so hyped to see what we get. Um, here at the bottom it says, what does it say? It says Macho Man Randy Savage, I guess is the special edition in this pack. Um, it says with bell accessory, that's gold edition. And then of course, if you collect all the pieces of the ring, you will have all pieces of the ring. But how this thing opens up is, uh, let me scoot back a little bit and I'll show you guys how this thing works. You basically pull this up and it's just like the, the store display. You can see the figures here. We have a few here that we're gonna unbox and stuff, but you slide this back portion in the back um, down in the hole and then bam you have the little uh, piece of flappage that pops up and you got Finn Balor on there and it says real action vinyls and they're pretty much what these figures are are like little mini elite figures and we're gonna take a look at all of them here today um, that we got in the set uh, again I don't know what's all in here I don't know you know what all they sent us but it looks like the first figure that we have is John Cena he is looking incredible you can see the articulation there on the abs um, we got great articulated legs and stuff so we have John Cena it looks like we got Roman Reigns looking like Sean Yu from Mulan. Uh, what else we got? We got the Beast. We got the Beast incarnate Brock Lesnar looking fantastic right here. We got my boy the Demon. We got Finn Balor in his Demon attire looking absolutely sick. And um, oh my god, what is this guys? I guess this is supposed to be the Chase variants. It's like it's blacked out. You don't know what you're going to get. But again, here is the, the side panel. You can see what you can get out of these. On the back they even have some others that you can get. I really hope we get the Finn Balor in the blue. It's going to be sick. These are like our blind bag figures, I guess. Um, we have two that are, you know, solid black here. Um, what else we got? We have uh, another Brock, I think. We have another blind bag. I'm so excited for the blind bags, guys. I don't know what we're going to get here, but um, we have John Cena again. So we have two Johns. We have two Brock Lesnar's. We have two Roman Reigns. And then the, oh, oh, snap. We got the Dead Man. We got the Undertaker. That's sick AF. So we have the Undertaker. And then the last one that we have is another blind bag. So I'm so I'm super psyched. I guess we can we can hold on to the blind bags. We'll take those out at the end, you know, to see who we get. But um, we're gonna open up all these guys. We're gonna open up the Undertaker, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and John Cena, and we're gonna review all of them. Finn Balor as well. We're gonna go ahead and open all these guys up, and we're gonna take a closer look. And then at the end of the video, we'll open up all of our blind bag figures. So again, guys, before we open up these things, I do want to give a huge shout out to the loyal subjects for making this review possible. I am super. Super excited for these figures. I've been super hyped for them ever since I saw them at whatever toy show that was, but uh, they, these are going to be epic, guys. Let's go ahead and crack all these guys out of their packaging. All right, guys, so here we have the full set out of the packaging, and what I'm guessing is that I guess at random stores, you know, maybe other ones will have the Sasha, or they'll have the Sting, or they'll have the Shinsuke Nakamura, but uh, maybe these are just, you know, more the basic ones. I'm not sure how it works exactly. I know I saw an AJ Styles Shinsuke Nakamura 2-pack somewhere that somebody posted on Instagram. It was like a WrestleMania edition. Um, I unfortunately did not get that, but um, I did 
see it on there, but these figures look incredible, and it is cool because each one of them um, comes with their own accessories. So with John Cena, you get the U.S. Championship. With Roman Reigns, you get a mini chair. With Brock Lesnar, you get the Universal Championship. With The Undertaker, you get a removable hat and his urn, and then with Finn Balor, you get the Money in the Bank briefcase. So how freaking sick is that? Um, if we had the ring, you know, you could even do like a you could even do like a mini show with them. You could you could wrestle with them if you wanted to. But uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at each guy individually, guys. So taking a first look at John Cena, my boy, you can see he comes with his hat. This is his uh, 2016 attire. It says never give up on there. You can see his head's pretty big here. Um, I, I find it kind of hard to turn their heads. However, uh, I heated up one of them with a hairdryer because one of the legs accidentally popped off, and then the articulation uh, worked much better. So if you, I guess if you got them and they were a little stiff, you could run them. Get them a little hot, they will turn for you. Um, you can see that you get ab crunch. He even has his little dog uh, tags on there that are removable. I guess if you popped his head off, you could take those off. We got his armbands on there. You got his nice jorts, and they look really good. The sculpt is good. Uh, of course, you have your ab crunch. You have a ball joint. Both legs are on ball joints. They can kick forward and stuff. They do have single jointed knees, and they uh, can rotate fully at the arm here. No elbow you know, articulation. They can turn their wrists. And um, you do get uh, some, you don't get pivot, but you do get some, uh, you know, you could, you could rotate it there. And, of course, you can bend the knee. So John Cena's looking great. I love the way that came out. And, of course, he did come with the United States Championship, which looks really good as well. It's like a little small championship. I think it scales pretty well there, you know, if you wanted to put it on his waist or whatever. But um, U.S. title's looking clean AF. Really happy with the way John Cena turned out. Next up, we have the big dog. And, again, he's looking like Shun Yu from Mulan. But he looks great. I really dig the vest right here. If we take a closer look, um, his vest looks really nice. I love his logo. His tattoos are really cool as well. you got the white stripes on his gauntlets. Um, really nice. I like the Roman Reigns a lot. Again, same articulation as John Cena. And I love this. I think this is a really cool one. Probably one of my favorite ones in the set is this Roman Reigns. So the big dog is looking great with his figure from Loyal Subjects. We get a miniature steel chair as his accessory. It's just a black steel chair. It does not fold or anything, but uh, they can grasp it and obviously give some steel chair shots. Next up, we have the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. Um, he's looking cool with his little crew cut. You know, he's massive. Um, I think he's the biggest figure, or no, the Undertaker is the biggest figure, but uh, he's looking good here. Um, same articulation as always. You got his black shorts, his logo, his tattoo does look nice. And see, this is what I'm talking about. See how his head rotates much more? His head rotates better because he I did heat him up a little bit, so he actually moves a lot better. Um, so you may want to heat him up with a hair dryer just for a little bit, just to get you know the range of motion better. On the back, you do get his beautiful tattoos. And yeah, that is it for the Beast Incarnate. He, of course, does come with his Universal Championship, and this championship looks really good, just like the U.S. title. Um, I don't think I gave you guys a pretty good shot of the U.S. title. We'll go ahead and look at it here. But you can see they're, they're, not, they're pretty much just printed logos onto the strap, but I think they look good anyways. We're going to have to give this one to Finn Balor or the Big Dog. I'm not going to give it to Brock Lesnar. Um, our next figure is the, oh my god, his hat, is the Undertaker, and you can see he's doing his signature demon eyes or, you know, white white eyes there. Uh, the hat does come off, if you can see that. You can obviously plug that on just like so. Um, his hair color is pretty light, actually, for the Undertaker. You can see he does have his trench coat on already. You know, I don't think you can remove that, or I guess you could remove this part, but it would look dumb. It'd be like an old Jax figure. He'd still have the sleeves on there, but he does have his gloved hands, his singlet all the way down, looking very good. Really happy with the Undertaker figure. I think he looks great, especially with his hat on. I think it really does complete him there. And, of course, he, what would be the Undertaker without his signature urn? It looks really, really good, and it scales well with the figure, so you do get Undertaker's urn. He's the only one that comes with two accessories, I think. And then the last figure that we have here is Finn Balor. I think this is my favorite one. I love, you know, Finn Balor, obviously, but I don't think his headdress comes off. Yeah, his headdress does not come off, but I think it still works well for the figure. Um, you can see all that demon paint on his chest there. I think it's pretty much the Elite 41 demon paint, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you got the red kick pads. You got everything going around. Really nice figure. You even have the details on the back of the figure there. And his leg did fall off. My leg! But I am happy with the Finn Balor figure. I really love the blue eyes. I think they did a fantastic job on the Finn Balor figure. Really like these. I wish these were probably a little bit, you know, more so or, uh, rubber material or something so they could, you know, move out of the way. But they're pretty much just like Mattel's headdresses. You know how they're kind of stiff or, uh, no, the, the arms. You know how the arms are on Mattel figures? That's sort of how these are. They're, they're kind of hard to move around there. But it's not too bad. I still like the figure a lot. And then, of course, Finn Balor does come with this Money in the Bank briefcase, which is so cool. It actually has the logo, and it is 
you know, that nice gold color that the Money in the Bank briefcase used to be. And it's a beautiful looking Money in the Bank briefcase, guys. So uh, I am really happy with this whole line. I think they're really cool. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the price point is. I think they're maybe 10 bucks a piece or so. Um, they're really good though. I really am happy with them. Uh, maybe I can do a giveaway for one of these figures back here or something. But uh, we did get two of the Romans, two of the Cenas, two of the Lesners, and of course we have our blind bags over there that we're going to go ahead and open right now. I'm very happy to do that. So uh, I think we had four of them, right? We had four of them, and it's kind of funny because uh, the two of them have like a hefty feel to them, like they're kind of heavy. Like I guess that may be, you know, uh, the, the ring pieces. I think there's like a builder ring set where if you get four pieces of the ring, then uh, you know you get uh, you get to make your full ring. I think that's on the back of it right here, and that's pretty cool. But uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to build the full ring. If we had four heavy pieces, then I would think so. But I think only two of them are that. But we we'll only know if we dig into them, guys. So let's go ahead and open up our blind bag action figures from the loyal subjects. So here we have all four blind bags, guys. I guess. Uh what I'm hoping for, here's the uh, stuff on the side here. I guess we can run through what I hope I get. I mean, I would think it would be cool to get Shinsuke, Sting, um, any of the variant Balors. I would love the Elimination Chamber Finn Balor. Uh, obviously, I would love the variant of the Demon King in the black and white. I guess I'd take the referee. You know, the Macho Man's pretty cool. Um, AJ Styles would obviously be a really big one, too. So I guess we're just going to find out. Um, I've already cut the tape on all of them. That way, all we have to do is open them up, guys. So let's go ahead and see what we get opening it up right here. And oh my god, we got the Macho Man is our first one. And uh, looking great in his purple and yellow attire. And oh my god, he comes with a piece of the ring. So not only did we get, I guess, uh, that's an accessory, I guess. That's pretty cool. And he comes with the ring bell. So did we get, we got the Macho Man Randy Savage with the bell accessory, and um, I think that was one of the rare ones, right? Yeah, this was the rarest one in the set. So that's freaking sick. This is gold edition, I think. So that's that's really sick. So we did get the, the rarest one to find. So that's freaking epic sauce nasties. But uh, we'll put together the ring if we get other parts. But we do have the ring here. We'll set that off to the side, but Taking a look at Macho Man, he looks freaking epic. I love this attire, got the purple and the yellow going. Uh, great head scan on this guy, he looks ripped up to shreds. And what an epic first pull. So we did get Macho Man, we're gonna sit him off to the side. We'll take a look at everything uh, when it's all over. We'll get into the second blind bag real quick. Go ahead and scoot the camera bag just a little bit there so we're not invading the space. I thought that maybe one of the pieces, I guess the ring is just part of the, I don't know, I don't know how that all, all works, but let's go ahead and pull out our second one. It is the Nak America himself, Shinsuke Nakamura. And that's sick AF. So we got Shinsuke and uh, we got Macho Man. And he comes with a kendo stick. So how freaking sweet are these figures? That's so freaking cool. So we did get uh, Shinsuke. How epic sauce is that? I love that. Head scan on Shinsuke. Red pants are looking great. And they did an excellent job on Shinsuke. So I like that we got, you know, two different guys that we didn't already have. So we get to add Shinsuke to our roster. And we get to add the kendo stick to our little weapons there. But uh, I think one of the, I think this is the one that may have the ring piece in it. It's a little heavier, but let's pull out what we got. Who we get? We got AJ Styles. We did get the phenomenal one. We got phenomenal AJ Styles, and he comes with a portion of the ring as well. So that's so cool. We got two pieces of the ring now, and uh, we get to add AJ Styles. And I think he also, yes, he does. He comes with the WWE Championship. So we're just getting some epic pulls here, guys. We got AJ, WWE Championship, we got Shinsuke, we got the Macho Man, and we got two pieces of the ring so far. So we're doing really good. Uh, hopefully we can pull one of those Balors on our last one. We're, hopefully we're saving the best for last. I hope it's either Elimination Chamber, Finn Balor. This AJ freaking Styles is so sick. I love that head on there. And he's got his black and blue attire going on. I freaking love this. This one may be one of my favorites in the set. I just love all the except. He also has his P1 freaking vest on. And he does have the P1 logo on the side. So, again, we're, we're pulling excellence. Let's see if we can complete... If we, if we pull the, the the Elimination Chamber Finn Balor or the Demon Finn Balor out of this last one, guys, it's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got. Let's go ahead and pull it. Oh, my God. We got the Elimination Chamber Finn Balor on our last pull. What are the odds of that right there? How sick, nasty particles is that, guys? 
Holy crap, we literally pulled everything that I wanted. We, I mean, how could you get anything better? I mean, the only thing we could have pulled was the other demon. And uh, you get another Money in the Bank briefcase. And we got the non-demon Finn Balor in the Elimination Chamber attire. How freaking awesome. So here we have the non-demon Finn Balor. Let's go ahead and compare him to the demon Finn Balor. You guys can see the two differences here. How freaking awesome, man. I probably said freaking awesome and it's like amazing and all those different adjectives uh, multiple times in this video, but I'm hyped. I think this is so cool. I am so freaking excited. So we did get Finn. We got the Demon Finn, and then our other pulls that we got was the WWE Champion. We got AJ Styles here. Obviously, Daniel Bryan's the champion, but uh, in these figures, I guess AJ is the champion. So we have AJ. We got Shinsuke. And then we got the gold edition with the ring bell. We got Macho Man. So we literally pulled just excellent figures, my God. Like, if we find these at retail, guys, we're going to make video series out of these blind bag pulls. We're going to be... We're going to collect the hell out of this line. I love this line. I think these are really awesome. And again, a huge shout out to the Loyal Subjects for making this review possible and hooking us up with these beautiful Loyal Subjects vinyl figures. Again, guys, check your retailers. I don't know. I don't think they're exclusive anywhere. Just check Walmart, Target, FYE, you know, different stores like that. I'm sure they'll be popping up everywhere very, very soon. But I am very satisfied with these. Um... We need to go ahead and put our ring together before the end of the video. Uh, we didn't complete the ring, but we did, you know, get a lot of uh, stuff here. So I want to make sure that we check out the ring before uh, the video is over. So here's the ring put together, guys. Obviously, we are missing uh, two portions. We are, have our left. So we have our whole right side of the ring completed. I guess when we get the other two sides, we'll have both turnbuckles and uh, all four sets of ropes done. But uh, I guess we'll have to look forward to the rest of the set and buying these so that we can complete our ring. And then we can do some cool little setups or whatever the crap. But I, I love the hell out of this line. I think that all of them are epic sauce. I'm so excited that it was so cool that we actually pulled everything I wanted. We got the non-demon battle. We got Shinsuke. We got AJ. And we got the gold variant or gold edition Macho Man. And these are freaking sweet nasty, guys. Again, huge shout out to Loyal Subjects, guys. Go check out their Instagram page. Go check out their Facebook and uh, definitely go check out their website. All of the stuff is linked down in the descri description below. Uh, we got plenty of title belts here, and um, I am very hyped for this series. Going forward, I can't wait to you know find these at retail. And let me know down in the comment section below if you got is find these at retail. If you've picked up a few yourself, I don't think if they've hit retail just yet. Um, again, I mentioned that WrestleMania 34, AJ, and Shinsuke, but besides that, I don't know if I have seen these in the wild. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of these loyal subject figures, guys. Which one is your favorite? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.